What is going on guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. As I had mentioned in our last recap, uh, we randomly matched up against GS96. Uh, definitely was not a favorable matchup for us. Uh, not only did they have a very large Town Hall 10 advantage, uh, but a huge hero advantage as well. Uh, so, you know, it, it was really difficult. Definitely not a matchup we would have chosen by any means for various reasons. Um, that's about all I'll say on that. Uh, it's unfortunate. There's no point in uh, whining about it. So, we'll, uh, we, you know, we just move on and uh, and put it behind us now. So, um, one thing I do want to say, though, is, is wars like this really do test yourselves as a clan and individuals. It is very, very easy in these type of situations to get very discouraged and um you know subliminally you just kind of lose a bit of a care factor in your plans because you really just want the war to be over with and behind you and have a new war on the plate um that isn't <laughs> the the type of situation that you're in so uh, i don't know it's no excuse that's not what we do that's not one hive <laughs> and Invicta knows that and, and and but this really does does test you as a clan and, and it showed us uh, I'm not saying um, all these things Invicta does but we did not hit our marks we did not did not do as well as we should have and put up uh, the fight like we should have and um, it, it's tough and I'm not pointing any fingers at anybody and if anyone I would point them at myself because absolutely I know my mentality sometimes going into these types of situations just isn't the same as when you're in a matched up fair play war or you know anything of that nature and it sucks and uh, like I said no excuse for it that's something that each individual in the clan just needs to get through and get over and move on and get those tree stars so it's an, enough uh, enough blabber about that uh, like I said no sense in crying it is what it is uh, we move on and I got some great replays still to show you against some really nice bases actually and uh, like I said some really uh, unfavorable matchups for some of the guys that just came through with some really nice plans so let's just hop on over and check it out uh, first I had Peter here stepping up number 20 hitting number 11 <clears throat> uh, Pete uh, knows what this is a cleanup attacks Pete knows there's a hound in the CC he's just gonna go ahead send a few hogs in get the lure out on that uh, lava hound once he does that, he's going to yank it back here. Uh, he's got a pretty safe area now. Uh, had to send in one more hog just to get it. There it goes. He's going to send an archer in, and he's got a healer. Second archer goes down. Now, something about the archer trick, guys, they literally have to be on the same tile, or it does not work. So keep that in mind, like on the exact same tile. Like That's about as far as they can be away. So archer trick, eh, archer trick is good. He's just going to go ahead and send in a shattered entry from the 2 o'clock position here. Creating his funnel, just clearing things out. Wall breakers, or, or sorry, he's just going to jump right over the, this intersection right there. Uh, some skeletons come out, stall some things a little bit. But King goes in behind everything. Uh, looking pretty good at this point. He even drew this Barb King out. He's taking care of that. Uh, defensive Queen is going down. King's taking care of that. Queen's locked on as well. So things are looking pretty good at this point, really. He's got a rage down. He goes in and sends almost like an Asian wall coming in between this um, 11 o'clock and 9 o'clock position. He, all of them are going to meet up on this air sweeper. He basically timed that really well, and boom, down goes the first heal. Things are looking pretty good at this point. Uh, just going to rip through the rest of these defenses. He still has two heals in the bag. Uh, he's going to drop some cleanup troops right away because things are looking pretty good for his hogs. Just got a heal over this Tesla hell. There it goes. Quad Tesla's there. Not a big problem for these hogs standing on her heel. He's got enough of them. As soon as this cannon goes down, they're going to jump in and help out as well. One more Tesla to go. One more heal to go. So he's looking fantastic. Might not have even needed to heal there, but the bomb, sorry, I lied. Good triggering on that bomb was a little bit lucky on that one, but um, just the way it would, the pathing went from here, it, that's that's just how it worked, right? It's uh, kind of a poor DGB spot. Um, yeah, great job, Peter. It is cleanup. Fantastic attack. Just beautiful. Excellent. There's your three. Great attack, Peter. That's for sure. Uh, moving down one more here to number 12. Good old Dota bringing a nice queen walk with some Valks here. I loved it. 
Uh, queen goes down at this. Well, it's more of a queen charge, actually. Wants the queen to charge into this section of the base. So healers go down. Going to create a bit of a funnel with some minions here. Just wants to cut it off, and he's going to open up the wall to bring that queen in. So that's all looking fine. And Danny goes right ahead and sends in just a cold-blooded entry with one golem, but has four Valks as well backing that up. So uh, just creating his funnel. Gets, all his, uh, gets his troops down. Wall is going to get opened up here in one second. One second. <laughs> oh, sorry, the jump. Uh, he used the wall breakers up here. That's right, my bad. Uh, but this wall is going to get opened up in one second. Jump goes down. Valks go in right after that queen. Watch this queen just get shredded up by these Valks here. Boom, one more hit. She's down. Really just got to worry about that dragon. I'm pretty sure Dodo was expecting a Lava Hound out of this CCM. This was a first hit, I believe. Um, not 100% on that, but I, I, for some reason, remember I'm thinking it was a, a Lava Hound in the CC. Could be wrong, but uh, I believe that's what was expected. Uh, Hogs go in now at this 4 or 5 o'clock position. Just kind of going to sprinkle them in. This queen's going to get huge value. As soon as this mortar goes down, she's going to step right up and start tanking, uh, tanking the Teslas for these Hogs, which is... Just beautiful timing. Uh, hits the ability. She's going to just destroy all these defenses. The skeletons get in the way of the ability, which is unfortunate. But the hogs are already on top of the Tesla. It's looking pretty good. A couple more defenses to go. That dragon doesn't even matter. It is just following hogs around. The queen is about to step up. Finish it off. Dota just wrecked this base. Don't even care if it's a dragon. <laughs> Might have been close on time too because the few hogs, but he got really nice split on him. Three up there and three down here. Beautiful. Sexy attack, buddy. Right. Uh, had 19 next. King Brett. Newer addition from Swarm. Brings a nice uh, Shattered Lalo here. Uh, going to go ahead from this 9 o'clock position. Send in uh, his first golem. Kind of delay the second golem a little bit. Uh, creates this funnel. A couple wizards go down. Queen's going to go down and start helping uh, clear that trash. Test wall breaker goes in. That's beautiful. Notices that Tesla, but it locks onto the golem, so he's safe to send in the last wall breakers. Opens it up, then drops the max golem right in behind. King's going to shortly follow here. Uh, his goal really is to get this air defense, obviously, that's exposed, and this one that's a little deeper in. He's going to drop a jump over here to also get the queen. So, uh, a CC troops should be coming out right now. Here they come. Two goblins uh, and then a dragon. Poison's going to do short work of the goblins, but a bunch of skeletons. Just kind of slowing the kill squad down a little bit. This archer tower is locked onto the queen, so he does have to burn the queen's ability here in two seconds. Oh, maybe not. Uh, he ends up burning it on uh, to make sure he gets that air defense. Just kind of worked out perfectly. A couple more shots from the Arch Tower. Definitely he would have needed to burn that ability. Uh, Dragon's going to go down here in one moment. Uh, Queen is almost down. When this golem blows up, I think she goes down. I think so. Or the either that or one of these archers grabs her. This queen has to go down. I think this golem explosion does it. No. Boom, but there, oh, an archer. Archer steps up. The pro archer. I didn't even see that in the replay when I watched it initially. Hilarious. All right, so the, the air attack is commenced. He sent in through two lava hounds on this air defense, one lava hound on this air defense, sprinkling the loons all over. Haste and rage. It's just basically a line of defenses here he needs to take down and then deal with this last section. He's got one more rage, one more haste. Uh, he's going to drop the rage down over this crossbow, kind of continue to push everything down, and he's going to haste in a couple loons from this bottom section. Absolutely love the, love the loon to pull on this uh, attack brett just great attack all around actually <clears throat> the hero archer stepping it up imagine if that queen was still alive Ugh. but haste goes down even with those bombs it doesn't matter those balloons get the hit off on the wizard tower there's nothing left that can take care of the air attack fortunately he didn't get that hound pop but it didn't matter he's got his cleanup troops down pops over all over the north section of the base beautiful attack nice job brett Three stars. All right. Let's throw in one more here real quick, and we'll call it a day. I really like this one. Namnug, another new swarm uh, addition to Invicta. Uh, look at the hero disadvantage here. 15 king and 20 queen going in against 30, 30 heroes. A max lava wall. Like, the only thing not max on this base, I think, are the cannons and whiz towers. Um, maybe the mortars, too. Yeah, those aren't... Those aren't uh, so, the mortars, whiz towers, and cannons. Only thing not max on this base... 
Max Heroes just stepping up though. Namnug really, really brings a nice attack here. Shattered Entry is looking good. Poison goes down. Take care of the CC troops. Interesting to see a Witch in the CC. Nice to have that diversity. Uh, see how she's standing on the outside of that Poison? Um, this has actually worked out perfectly, right? Like she is delaying this kill squad so much, and um, it's witches and CCs aren't necessarily dead. You just can't have all witches and CCs. It needs to be unexpected. Uh, see this witch still doing work, still doing work. Finally, the witch goes down. The Valks get in there to take care of the skeletons. Things looking pretty good at this point. Defensive queen is down. Um, he really just wants to kind of finish up uh, this section of the base. He's now sent in six hogs in the north section. Going to take that north section down. Uh, and then I believe the rest of the hogs are going to start reinforcing from uh, from the side here. There they are. <clears throat> About four per defense. He's going to drop one more heal near this Tesla. Down goes the heal because the bomb's there. Perfect timing on that. Great patience. Good tr uh, trigger on the DGB there one at a time. Uh, crossbow's about to go down and then he sprinkles in a few more hogs on each of the defenses down here there's just not enough to take care of the amount of hogs he has there is a ton of skellies running around and a few bombs go off so it does pose a few problems but it's just it, it's just not quite enough there's just too many hogs at this point it's clean up nice job nam nug way to take this basically max nine down like a champ with a level 15 king oh I don't know if you can hear my kid in the background. She's going nuts. <laughs> nice three, Nam. Good job. All right. So, like I said, tough war. Really tough war. You know, we learned a lot. We're moving on. Uh, it's good practice. And uh, like I said, it's not not about the score in, in the, these. It's about testing testing your you know mental resilience to uh, to things to situations like this and. Uh, as a clan and, and as an individual. So we move on and we shall uh, shall prevail this next one. i uh, got an interesting war going on as we speak. I also have um, a, a great recap I'm going to be working on tonight for the 2.0 versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm assuming it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They're an American clan. Uh, they were a three-star clan, <clears throat> although, uh, like I had said in my last video, I'd never heard of them. Uh, but they definitely brought the heat and was a really great war for 2.0. Uh, so excited to do that one tonight and hopefully get some, uh, get maybe some more live attacks in uh, on the 2.0 war, which is also starting tonight. So uh, yeah, that about does it for your wisdom from Wiser guys. Just trying to help you bag that next three-star. And until then, I'm out.